Good morning, everyone. In today's video, we're going to be repeating that same Sunday exercise we did a few weeks ago in which we scanned for oversold stocks with high short interest. Now, if you haven't seen that previous series, I would recommend watching that prior to this video. That's where on Sunday we did this homework where we ran the same exercise we'll do today, where we ran a scan, got a list of stocks, tried to filter that list down uh, to just a handful of stocks that we'd like to focus on for the week. Uh, these were stocks that had high short interest. We had directional bias. In that case, it was a bullish bias. And then in that playlist, we tracked throughout the week all the way from Monday through Friday, which stocks triggered, met our rules throughout the week. Uh, what did the winners look like? What did the losers look like and really that gives you an idea of what we're looking to replicate with the same list that we'll create in today's video now unlike last time's uh, playlist we had multiple videos throughout the week tracking these stocks we'll most likely not do that this time around but this is going to be the first video in which we do the homework assemble this list and then if there's some interesting candidates as the week goes by I'll make sure to make a video about it now, if you'd like to follow along, you'll need four simple tools. Most of these are free. Uh, the first one is having a scan with some sort of directional bias. This is really key. It's our starting point here. For all of our volatility box members, we're going to be using our bullish edge signal scan. This is what gives us our A, directional bias, bullish, and B, our edge signals indicator here gives us this criteria right here, which is the oversold condition. Now, once we have that list, we'll use our new Market Pulse dashboard. This is what we created in yesterday's tutorial. It's our latest, most recent ThinkScript tutorial to narrow down this list of, I think it's more than 50-ish or so stocks in less than one second. You'll see just how quick it is and how the dashboard really makes this process much, much more efficient. Now, once we have the final list of stocks that we'd like to analyze further, we can then plug that into Excel to get a comma separated list. In case you don't have Excel, you can also use Google Sheets. That's a free alternative. And then finally, once we have that comma separated list of stocks, we can run our short interest analysis using the scanner that we have built inside of our stock volatility box platform. Now, the scanner is really a much faster alternative to analyzing large, large lists of stocks. You'll see what that looks like in uh, that part of the process when we get to it. But in case you don't have access to the stock volatility box platform, you can also use other alternatives such as TD Ameritrade to find the short interest uh, percentages for each stock you may be looking at on a one by one basis, which does add a little bit more time, but is a free alternative. All right, so let's get started here. I'll start first with running our bullish edge signal scan, and then we'll run through the entire process. Now let's start off by coming into Thinkorswim here. I'm inside of our scan tab first off just to highlight that we're going to be using that same bullish edge signal scan. If you're using a different scan, your screen here will look a bit different. Now with those results, I'm going to load that in as a watch list. So here I'll come in, I'll uh, find our bullish edge signal scan and we can load that in. That should then give us a scan result list of all of the stocks that meet this criteria. That's a pretty large list of stocks here. Let's start by first copying this entire list in just to get an idea of how many stocks we have in total. So uh, Excel does the trick here. You'll notice the count is upwards of 200. So we have 200 stocks that have currently given us a bullish edge signal as of Thursday's count. Now our goal is to filter this list down fairly quickly. So we can come into our customized tab here. We have our 30 minute market pulse loaded in. I can also load in our daily time frame as well. That's what we really like to pay more attention to for this portion of this. Let's remove the 30 minute for the time being. We can click OK. And now you'll notice if I detach this gadget, we have a list of all of these stocks with a label plotting next to it, which tells us exactly what market stage we're in. If you'd like to learn more about these market stages, you can do so in the Market Pulse tutorial. That's also linked in the description box. But the whole idea here is we have four different stages. For bullish stocks, we're looking to focus in on the acceleration stage, which is this green label, along with the accumulation stage, which is this gray label. You'll see there's a number to the right of that as well. That's our counter of how long we've had this trend valid for. So in this case, you'll notice uh, if I sort this now just by clicking one time at the very top, Market Pulse, we now have a sorted list of all of the stocks in which our trend is for the most part bullish. So that's acceleration. You'll notice at the bottom of that list, we have uh, ORGO, which is a stock which currently has the greatest number of consecutive acceleration bars on the market pulse. That's 89 consecutive bars. Outside of that, you'll notice there's a lot of stocks in which the trend just changed. That's where we see a one. Coming all the way down here, we can now start with the accumulation, come up to the top, copy just that list in, and if we paste that into Excel, you'll notice that took our list down from 200 all the way down to 115. So that's progress so far, but we'd like to keep narrowing down this list. So now if we create a comma separated list here, so I'll say equals A1, we'll apply this formula to all of the stocks that we have on this sheet. 
and that then gives us a list of comma separated stocks. Now with that list of stocks, we can come inside of our stock volatility box short interest scanner. You can access that by clicking short interest inside of the platform. And here we'll just paste in this list of symbols and click search. You'll notice the table here at the bottom has adjusted. And now if I filter by short interest percentage, at the very top here, we have our list of stocks that we'd like to focus in on. These are stocks in which we have double digit short interest percentage numbers. So from that list of 200 initially down to 115, we're now down to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stocks that we'd like to focus on for this upcoming week. Let's now dive into this list a little bit further. Uh, so let's come inside of our charts here. So let's start first with MGY. That's the first uh, stock that we have at the top of our uh, scan list that has 50% short interest right now. If we zoom out, take a look at the charts here, for the most part, what we'd like to make sure, if I collapse this now, is we have the trend agreeing for the most part. So we have accumulation or acceleration. We see that overbought, oversold indicator. So in this case, it should look like either a green arrow, or if we see a cyan or yellow arrow, that's really bonus points. Uh, if we have a squeeze, also bonus points. And then overall here, we're looking for structure, trying to gauge how does the stock look like, what looks interesting, and for all stocks that look good, we can add that to our watch list inside of our stock volatility box platform to let the platform do the heavy lifting for us. So starting off here with MGY, MGY here does meet all of our rules, right? For the most part, we have a bullish edge signal. We have an overall bullish market pulse that has most recently turned gray. So far, we have an edge signal, which suggests we're looking for a move away from the market pulse. We don't have a squeeze, so no uh, extra bonus points here. And so MGY meets our rules, and we can add that to our watch list. So I'll add an MGY. Now, next up on uh, our list here, we had uh, Dick Sporting Goods. So we'll say DKS here. Come into Dix as well. Dix, we have the bonus points criteria met. We had two slingshot squeezes. We also have uh, a squeeze signal. We have our most recent edge signal as well. Overall, we're looking for the squeeze to fire long, and this too would be a good list of stocks to add to our overall list that we're looking for intraday uh, triggers on. So we can say DKS here. I'll talk about the triggers in just a bit, but in case you haven't seen the other playlist, that also goes through the triggers as well. So here we have DKS added on. Now next up, we have Dick Sporting Good. If I come into Dick Sporting Good here, the trend here looks a little bit better. We do have the bonus point condition met. We have a squeeze signal most recently. We have an overall bullish market pulse. We have two slingshot squeezes. We have the squeeze, which so far looks like it's going to fire long. There's a lot of good things going for uh, Dick Sporting Good. The one thing to call out, which I don't like, is we're currently hovering near that 1618 extension. So the 200 is really the stretch target that we have left available for us. Uh, and that is at 85.26. Again, for all of these stocks, we're looking at intraday trigger uh, criteria that's covered in the previous playlist. The overall goal there is one minute time frame chart at the very least. You're looking for either a slingshot squeeze or a squeeze signal on a one minute time frame, or having our watch list here give us the alert that, hey, we're inside of our volatility box zone in any one of these stocks, you have an opportunity setting up. So we can now set up Dix and add that to our list of stocks as well. Now, next up, we have Guess. Guess here, uh, for the most part, our most recent market pulse is red, so we can actually remove Guess. It doesn't meet our rules as effectively as some of these other stocks, so Guess is one that we skip. I can also add MGY and DKS to our dashboard just so we can see it at the end. Next up, we have MTDR. We take a look at that. That's Matador Resources. Uh, here, we have our bonus point condition met as well. We have a slingshot squeeze. One additional tool that we can layer on here is our slingshot squeeze back tester, just in case we're curious to see how effective is this signal. If I zoom out, the signal over the past five years, one winner, one loser, average winners 9.96%, that loser was negative 8%. So really, so far, we're at a draw. We can add this to our list, but it's nothing that is super exciting in terms of uh, some of the other stocks we've seen, like the LRCXs and the Microsofts. So we can add an MTDR here as well. Keep coming down the list. We have CPE. This has been a stock we've talked about a couple times now. CPE here. We also have our bonus point condition met. We have a squeeze signal most recently, a squeeze forming here, an overall bullish market pulse, looking for a move away from the market pulse, really break above our most recent high, and then see the squeeze fire long. That would be the overall idea that we have in CPE. Again, a good stock to add in looking for this overall breakout or a fade uh, trending move, depending on whichever opportunity we get. The next up, we have AR. 
So let's come into Antero Resources. Antero Resources, same thing, right? We have our bonus condition met. We're looking for the squeeze to fire long. Antero here looks a little bit uh, weaker just in terms of the overall trend. So if you were looking to skip one, this would be one of those stocks that I would ignore. Uh, but we can add it just in terms of letting the platform do the lifting in case we have a fade opportunity here. Now, next up, we have Aon and then RLGY. So let's come in. Uh, Aon. Aon here looks pretty solid. Our slingshot squeeze here also indicates five winners, zero losers. So far, we have an entry price better. So at the moment, Aon would be my most favorite uh, stocks out of the one that we've seen that I'd be looking at for this condition to be met. Any pullbacks to the market pulse, especially if that overlaps with our stock volatility box zone, that would be very ideal. If we don't get that happening, then we're looking for that uh, slingshot squeeze or squeeze signal on a one minute time frame to get in on a trending move. So that's Aon. Aon here really looks the best. If we're trying to run our extensions here to get an idea of potential targets as well, let's take our swing high to our swing low. And that gives us an approximate 1272 of 263.76. That's if we're making new highs. And then our most recent high is at 238.18, which so far looks to be fairly close to where price action is currently trading at. And this squeeze could take us into at least that previous 100% retracement zone. So Aon here would really be the stock that so far is my favorite just in terms of structure. And then finally, we had RLGY. So let's look at that. RLGY here, our most recent market pulse is red. So while currently we're in a stage of accumulation, it fails our most recent trend criteria. And so we can remove RLGY as well. So from our final list of stocks here, just to conclude, we have MGY, DKS, GES, uh, Matador, CPE, AR, Aon, RLGY. We removed RLGY. We also removed, I believe, Guess Inc. here, and we were left with MGY, Dix, Matador, CPE, AR, and Aon. And so what we can do now with this list of stocks is actually come into our dashboard first. Let's remove everything from our dashboard, and then we can add in these stocks that we'd be looking at just so we have a very easy way of tracking this. So now anytime we have these stocks hit our lower edge of the volatility box zone, that's one potential trigger. That's our fade setup. And anytime that does happen, we'll get an alert from the alerts tab based off of the alerts that we just set up here. Uh, and that will then take care of the uh, fade portion for us. For trend traders, you can look at a one minute uh, time frame chart. And off of that one minute time frame chart, if I come into something like Aon, what we're looking for is really this uh, squeeze signal or a slingshot squeeze, the yellow arrow for all volatility box members with an overall bullish market pulse line and any pullbacks to the market pulse would be your opportunity to get in. Uh, more aggressive entries would be at the close of the candle that you get the trigger condition on. All right, I hope this video was helpful again in providing yet another example of doing that Sunday homework so that you can have a list of stocks ready for you ahead of time that you'd like to focus on day trading for that upcoming week. And in this case, these stocks also have an overall longer term swing trade supporting this day trade. So you can transition that into a swing trade as well if you'd like. All right, take care everyone. Good luck trading and we'll see you in the next update.